Hey, what's up guys? Time is back with another Linton's video. Today we have another fragrance from Fragrance World. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It's an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me right now in the back of a golf cart, waiting for your friend to hit the damn ball already. Hit the ball, scream four, duck, dodge, roll, whatever you got to do, get the hell out the way of that ball. Man, wherever and however you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Likes are very important uh, that uh, I like these fragrances so much that I decided to buy them. Finally did a little bit of fragrance shopping over the last two weeks and I got quite a little bunch hanging on the side over here. Now, I will be out of commission maybe for like a week. I think I'll do a couple little videos while on vacation, but wanted to get one last good video uh, in before I went on that vacation. Now, Fragrance World, you guys know again, <clears throat> there's no shame in their game. Whether they're trying to clone something or not, you know what, they make no secrets about it. They know what they're going for and they're coming after them. And uh, whether those uh, designers are actually scared or not, uh, remains to be seen now the more people that buy these you know obviously designers are gonna have to do something different up their game a little bit because again some of these middle eastern fragrances are honestly knocking it out of the ballpark and again you know what i'm not going to tell you if these things smell exactly like the og but if they smell good they perform well price is just right who cares just get it now with this weather being a little bit on the extreme side of things lately in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, up, down, side to side, winter, summer, spring, fall, all the seasons have built into one day, I decided to go with a fragrance with the word extreme in it. Now again, Fragrance World, they are cloning one of most people's favorite fragrance from Guerlain, that's that Ideal Ohm, and this one is Supreme extreme supreme loam extreme again i think this is a clone of ideal the extreme version and then we have just the regular Id ideal supreme okay i think i think i'm not sure which one this one is cloning i'm gonna go with just the regular ideal i could be wrong but who knows but this one i'm gonna go with the extreme first okay now i probably should have went with this one being it's the first but i'm gonna go with this one because again like i said the weather has been pretty extreme as of late so we might as well just do this one and get it out the way. So Supreme Loam Extreme Fragrance World. Here we go. And again, you guys know Guerlain. <sighs> Am I saying that correctly? Who knows? I, I don't think I've done many Guerlain videos at all. Honestly, clones or the real thing. Um, so who knows? But uh, I'm going with that Guerlain Ideal Extreme. Here we go. I think that one has the spices people consider it like one of uh, like a, a 10 out of 10 designer fragrance so who knows i've never smelled it here we go and yeah no doubts about it i mean the bottle i mean maybe besides it not being as wide as the other one bless you by the way um this one um looks similar to what i've seen on video again it, you really don't see these out in the open okay like you don't see you don't really see uh, Guerlain's in the Macy's and stuff like that. I mean, you really got to go search for these if you want to see them in person. So here we go. Looks just like that. Exactly kind of like that bottle. I think it even almost has this cap, the same cap. This is a kind of uh, plasticky, soft, not like leather or like um, uh, no rubber or anything. It's just like a hard, soft plastic. But there you go. Again, Supreme Loam Extreme. Let's see what it is all about. We got that FW right at the top. Again, no doubts about it, what they're cloning. Luckily, a lot of people that are coming to the house, they don't know what Gear Lane is or EDL, so when they come see it, can't no one make fun of me. because They don't know what the heck they're looking at anyway. So here we go. Let's smell over here. Nothing going on. Wait, let's go over here. A little bit something going on from yesterday. So we're going to have to go up here to the arm portion of the body 
not the best atomizer, but it's a nice wide distribution, nice amount of juice. Ooh, I think this one has like that. I, I could be mistaken, it has like that cherry because there's like some kind of syrupy cherry thing going on right here. Let's get closer. Oh yeah, cherry, kind of almost leathery. Kind of woody. There's something uh, just a little bit fresh in here, okay? So it's almost like fresh cherry syrupy in the air. You get a little closer. Kind of get this woody, almost leathery smell. Now, I could be wrong. Could be none of that in this fragrance. And I think I'm just going off what I've seen in the past. And I think that's the one that, again, has like that cherry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's where the cherry is kind of popping a little bit more, okay? It kind of smelled almost like a something fresh, but now when I'm getting closer to it, it smells like a like a nice, almost like a machino cherry, if you will. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cherries, like cherry syrup, like that slushy cherry, slushy syrup. I don't think there's leather in here. I'm gonna go with like some woods, okay? Woods, maybe some nutmeg or cinnamon in here. Nut, maybe nutmeg. I'm gonna go with nutmeg. You know this is nice, okay? It's very nice. I like it. However, here's the problem I have with this type of fragrance, okay? As good as this smells, I don't know if I want to smell like cherries though. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a sexy fragrance. I think it's a, it's a sexy date night fragrance. In my opinion, this is definitely not a going to work type of uh, fragrance. Not going into the gym or anything like that. Not just a random day out. Definitely a sexy date night fragrance. In my opinion. Now the wife, she might like the cherry syrupy smell. I don't know. Do you like it? Hello. You like it? Can you smell it? I can. She could smell it in the air. Now, again, she's not real close. She's about like a good, maybe like five, ten feet away. She's probably not going to smell that sharp cherry smell that I'm getting because she'd have to get a little bit closer. Get a little closer. But I smell like a syrupy smell. So she does smell syrupy. And again, uh, I think this one does have like cherry in it. Because it smells like machino cherries in my that opinion. smells So it's like machino cherries, kind of woody and spicy. Cherry, it is. It, this is definitely not a unisex kind of like a floral cherry, something like that. This is definitely uh, masculine in my opinion. Now, yeah. again, honestly, you can wear whatever you want. Women, men, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, wouldn't wear um, I probably wouldn't wear that if I was a lady, especially if you're like a nice giddy lady you know maybe maybe if you're uh you know on the side of things like uh like a oh, you know one of those other ones uh the well, other ladies if you, are you girly probably girl. wear the girly girl probably not okay any other girl maybe you ride harley davidson's i don't know you could probably rock that okay but again in my opinion i do like it and I guess the beauty of this fragrance would be that I'd probably only wear it maybe like once every blue moon on a date night. Okay, maybe what I think I would do with this fragrance would be to layer this with uh, something a little bit more earthy, like tobacco-y, if you will. Maybe throw like a tobacco fragrance on with that cherry. Um, maybe even something to kind of lighten that cherry up a little bit. Because again, it is syrupy. And it's like, I don't know if I would want to personally smell like cherries okay there's other fruits that i think i would pick first now i must admit there's a lot of good going in here okay it, it, like i said spicy it smells kind of woody and stuff it all works well but that again it's probably not even something i'll be smelling most of the time anyways i'll probably be getting that whiffs of that cherry that wood in the air okay once i get outdoors that wind starts blowing i'll probably get whiffs of all that and then i'll actually like it but it's not something i actually would like to smell up close in my opinion um again i just don't think i want to smell like a cherry slush cherry syrup cherry 
machino cherries, if you will. Okay. Again, nice cherry, syrupy, kind of woody. Maybe it is leather. I don't know. But there's something in here, leathery, spicy, woody. Who knows? You guys know. Obviously, you guys probably have that. Everyone that's watching this probably has it. Now they see this and they're like, oh, my God, I can get that for like 45 bucks. That's what I paid for it, 45 bucks. So you guys already know I got it from my guy out there in California, the Oud store. Go check him out. If you guys live out there in California, you guys are obviously blessed to have that store right in your backyard, especially if you're close. Uh, but man, that is a, um, again, a very nice, sexy fragrance. Just in my honest opinion, I don't think I want to wear it that much. Okay. Now it doesn't mean it's going for sale. It really doesn't because I definitely got to wear this outdoors just to see what mother nature intends to do with it. Does it, uh, the, make it more powerful does it uh, do, you know with the all the, the fall elements that we've been having lately does is some of those things kind of play a role in this fragrance we shall see but again just overall just smelling it on my skin maybe you guys got better skin than me too who knows maybe you guys don't smell so pale like a pale ale with cherry maybe you guys don't smell like that maybe you smell better who knows but again cherry woody spicy and that's what you get Okay, this is, again, that Supreme Loam Extreme. I guess this is Guerlain's Ideal Extreme, I believe. I could be wrong. Who knows? But with that being said, I'm going to give that a thumbs up for most other people. If you guys want to smell like cherry and stuff like that, let's go for one more whiff before I get up out of here. Still, again, the cherry is it's very prominent in this fragrance. It's not like that, you know, it's here for a second and it's gone. It's, it's there for quite a while. If you guys remember... Um, Banana Republic did a cherry fragrance, uh, which smelled great. That cherry in there smelled great, but uh, the cherry itself lasted probably like two, three minutes, and it was gone. Uh, this thing is very noticeable. The cherry is still there, very fresh. Again, woody, slightly spicy, but that is that. Okay, thumbs up for the, the just the overall thing, but again... Something I probably wouldn't wear too much of, maybe, unless I throw like some... Ooh, man, I bet you this would be awesome. You take some of that and uh, maybe take something like this, okay? LPDO, you guys remember this one, Vanilla Persuasion. It's like a Tom Ford tobacco vanille. I bet that would be nice. You take this with a little bit of that cherry, boom, you're good to go. Or you can just go with the Tom Ford tobacco vanille itself. If you got that, I don't have it. I'm too cheap. So there you go. I'm going to get up out of here. Got to enjoy some little vacation time. So hopefully I'll see you guys on that cruise. Peace out.